Hey, TV fans, today let's delve into the 1981 classic, The Greatest American Hero. If you haven't watched it yet, get ready for a roller coaster ride. There are plenty of funny, shocking, and even sad facts about it. Who was your favorite character in the show? Share your pick in the comments below. Also, did The Greatest American Hero leave a lasting impression on you? Share your personal stories or moments of inspiration with us. Now, let's reminisce about those special moments or experiences you had with the series. Drop them in the comments. We're excited to hear your anecdotes. So, buckle up for a journey into the world of the greatest American hero, and don't forget to share your thoughts. Your stories matter. The TV series The Greatest American Hero from 1981 was a big deal back then. It told the story of a high school teacher who gets a super suit from aliens but struggles to use its powers. People really liked the mix of action, comedy, and drama. The show's theme song, Believe It or Not, became super famous and everyone still knows it. The show changed up how superheroes were seen by adding humor and characters people could relate to. Besides being liked by fans, the series inspired other stuff like comic books and action figures. There were also attempts to bring it back in different ways, even though none were as successful as the original. Overall, The Greatest American Hero made a big impression on pop culture. It mixed superhero stuff with humor and characters folks could connect with. Its theme song is still popular, and sometimes people try to bring the show back. During her time on The Greatest American Hero, she loved playing elaborate and sometimes creepy jokes. She pretended to be dead or in dangerous situations, giving her husband Gil Gerard quite the shock. He even started rating her pranks based on how creative they were. Once, she faked falling from a high place, surprising everyone on set. Her pranks became so expected that everyone looked forward to seeing what she'd do next. The show was so influential that it was even parodied in an episode of Robot Chicken called Yancey the Yo-Yo Boy. Actors from the greatest American hero like William Catt and Robert Culp appeared in other popular shows like Perry Mason, showing how connected the entertainment industry was. These stories give us a peek into the fun and creative atmosphere on set, which people don't often see. The fun of the greatest American hero lives on not just in the show itself, but also in the friendships and memories made behind the scenes. The greatest American hero is notable for several reasons. Firstly, it marked Michael Paré's debut on television, being his first credited appearance in a TV series and his second overall acting credit. Secondly, the show and its cast have been subjects of interviews, particularly in Tom Weaver's book, they fought in the Creature Features, where discussions about their roles in sci-fi and horror TV shows and movies are documented. Additionally, despite its initial lack of success, a spin-off titled The Greatest American Heroine was produced in 1983, but remained unaired until 1986. This spin-off, which was intended to extend the universe of the original series, was eventually screened as the final episode during syndication runs. These events and their impact reflect the significance of the show in television and entertainment. The Greatest American Hero was a TV series that aired in 1981. It gained lasting popularity as evidenced by its reference in The Big Bang Theory, where Sheldon Cooper wore a t-shirt from the show. Despite being canceled, its influence endured through cultural references like this. Ralph's son Kevin had a minor role, appearing sporadically in the first season, but gradually faded from the storyline as the series progressed. Connie Selica, an American actress, played a significant role in the show. She was born to parents of Italian heritage. Overall, the greatest American hero left a mark on popular culture, persisting through references and its portrayal of superhero tropes in a comedic light. In the early 1980s, the TV series The Greatest American Hero kicked off a big era for Stephen J. Cannell Productions. Starring Connie Selica, who was also in the Lassie series, it mixed superhero action with comedy, which people loved. When Connie Selica met her future husband John Tesh, he admitted he hadn't seen her in Hotel, another show she was in. Instead, he was a big fan of The Greatest American Hero. This shows how much the show was liked by many, leaving a strong impression. The show didn't just entertain, it also had an impact on pop culture and inspired future creators and fans. Its themes about being a hero and finding yourself, even in funny situations, connected with viewers then and now. Looking back, The Greatest American Hero shows how creative its makers were and how talented the actors were. Fans, both old and new, still love it today, considering it a classic part of TV history. 
This reflection on the show's influence is a reminder of its lasting appeal and the good memories it brings. The Greatest American Hero is a 1981 TV series. It had connections to two Best Picture Oscar nominees Sergeant York and The Yearling. Pam was initially supposed to appear only in the pilot episode, but Connie Selica's impressive performance secured her a regular role. She caught the producer's attention, leading to her becoming a recurring character instead of Ralph having a new girlfriend in each episode. The series was referenced in Are You There, God? It's me, Peter, in 2018. The greatest American hero, known for its distinctive emblem resembling a Chinese character meaning center or middle, was a TV series that aired in the early 1980s. Interestingly, in Hong Kong, the show's title loosely translates to Flying Red Center Hero. Similarly, in Sweden, it was titled Tita Han Fleiger, which means, look, he flies. Robert Culp, a guest host on Saturday Night Live, appeared in an I Spy sketch alongside Bill Cosby's character. Towards the end of the sketch, a fully costumed Ralph makes a surprising entrance, adding a quirky twist to the show. Moreover, there were plans for a film titled The Higher Ground, with the greatest American hero star and John Denver in leading roles. However, despite being scheduled to film in San Jose, Ca, in February 1993, the project never came to fruition. These anecdotes shed light on the show's international reception and its influence on pop culture, offering a glimpse into its broader impact beyond American television. Stephen J. Cannell, the creator of the TV series, revealed that the emblem on the suit worn by the protagonist was inspired by the square-handled scissors on his desk. Despite this explanation, the symbol bears a clear phallic shape. Throughout the series, the main character, Bill, was kidnapped a total of eight times and was shot five times. Additionally, Pam, another character, was kidnapped six times. In 1993, the protagonist performed a spoken word introduction for a cover recording of the theme to The World's Greatest Sinner, which was released as a 45 on the Australian Giant Claw label. William Catt, known for being the son of Bill Williams and Barbara Hale, took on the lead role in The Greatest American Hero, a TV series that debuted in 1981. Notably, his father had previously starred as Kit Carson in The Adventures of Kit Carson in 1951. Cat has siblings, Jody Cat and Juanita Cat, born in 1947 and 1953, respectively. During the show's second season, Connie Selica, who played the character of Pam Davidson, was conspicuously absent due to her real-life pregnancy. In an interesting family connection, William Cat's real-life mother, Barbara Hale, made an appearance in the second season episode titled Who's Woo in America, portraying the role of Ralph's mother, Paula Hinckley. These familial ties add a layer of connection to the greatest American hero, providing viewers with glimpses into the personal lives of the cast members, both on and off the screen.